right, welcome back to CM's Garage. We're back in the garage with the 1968 Beetle Herbie conversion. It's been a while. It's time to go ahead and paint these wheels to match the body color. Um, not only am I gonna do the, uh, the, four, the four wheels, but I've got a, a spare rim here and a spare tire that we need to mount. So we'll go ahead and get this painted to match. So we're gonna use the same Kiehl's Shiplap Magnolia home paint, spray paint that I used on the body. And then the uh, two part Spray Max clear coat. So let's go ahead and get started. I have the spare rim for my spare tire out here. This, we're gonna start with this one. It's got a little bit of surface rust to it. So we're gonna hit it with the wire brush and a little bit of light sandpaper. I need to remove the valve stem out of here. We'll get this painted up to match and then we'll do some uh, clear coat on it. I'm going to remove the valve stem with this valve stem puller. There you go. That was pretty rotten so it just kind of fell out. All right, so now that we've used the wire wheel on it, done a little bit of sandpaper, we blew off all the dust. I'm gonna take a little rubbing alcohol, just clean this room up, then we'll hit it with a little primer. And then we'll do our, our white paint and then the clear. All right, so we had a little surface rust on here. So for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with a little bit of uh, primer before we put the white on. So while we're waiting for the primer to dry on that spare wheel rim there, we'll go ahead and get this wheel off and get it prepped for paint. So we let all the air out of the tire by taking the core out of the valve stem. That's the quickest and easiest way to do it. And now I've got this bead breaker. I'm just gonna go around the outside here. Just gently pop the bead. There you go. All right, now that our primer is dry, we're gonna help go ahead and actually put the uh, beetle color on there. Should cover real easily with uh, the white uh, primer already on there. got the bead broke. I'm gonna 
Just wipe this down with a little rubbing alcohol, get some of that road dust off. And then we're gonna, we're just gonna lightly um, kind of prep this for paint with a 2000 sandpaper, just enough to kind of take the sheen off so the paint sticks, sticks well. All right, so we got our 2000, so this won't, um, you know, this won't score it or leave gro grooves in the paint. It's just enough to just get it where it's scuffed up. And then we'll tape off our, our valve stem so we don't get paint on that. And then I'll show you how we're going to get the, the wheel blocked off with a, a good method that I've learned. All right, so I learned this trick from uh, Derek on Vice Grip Garage, really good YouTube channel. You should check it out if you haven't seen it. Um, so we're going to find the middle here. And we're going we're gonna to cut about that much off. And now what that does is gives us a nice circle. Look at that. Now all I gotta do is just go around now and just tuck this in. Get a screwdriver to help us. I might have made it a little small, but I think we can make it work. Look at that. So, saves a lot of time. It'll make it for a cleaner paint job because we can actually paint on the, uh, the edge of the rim here. I've used the, the playing card trick without breaking the bead. Of course, that works. It's a little more time consuming, to be honest. And then you, you can't get the um, paint up against the bead here. So this, I think, will just be a cleaner look. If you have a bead breaker, if you don't, um, you can get them for like 60 bucks at Harbor Freight. So there you go. So let's get some white paint. We're not going to do a primer on this because it's already got a nice uh, coat of paint. I do need to tape the valve stem real quick. All right, we've got our valve stem taped off. Go ahead and get the herb color on there. Alright, so our base coat on the spare wheel, spare rim is dry, so we're going to have to do the two-part uh, spray max. As the clear coat is drying, I went ahead and removed the garbage bag and the tape from our valve stem there. It's looking pretty good. Now next we just need to reseat the bead and get these mounted back on the car. All right, we're gonna try to reseat our bead. We've got the valve stem out. And with your valve stem out, you just use the open end of the air compressor.
getting close. Very popping a second. There we go. Now you can just let the air run out after you seeded the bean. Put the valve stem back in. All right, so you seat the bead, then all the air runs back out. Now you've got to put your valve stem back um, back in here or the, um, the core, the core for the valve stem. And I've got this tool here you can get at any auto store. And then once we get this back in, we can air it up and put it back on the car see how she looks we got about 20 psi all right we've got the wheel painted we got the bead reset, air in the tire. Let's go ahead and get it mounted, see how it looks. Anytime you're tightening lug nuts, you always want to make sure to do it in a star pattern, cross pattern. Helps the wheel seat on straight. Well, there's your comparison. Front wheel and the rear wheel in the silver. I like the silver, but you know, the original Herbie car had matching white wheels that matched the, the color of the car. So it was just a matter of time before I did it. Finally getting some nice weather here to get out in the garage and work on stuff again. And here's the completely painted spare tire rim. All done. I went ahead and bought, I got this bias ply tire, um, fairly cheap. I think they're made in Mexico, came out of Mexico. It's called Technic and it uh, has that vintage, vintage bias ply look. It is a bias ply tire um, and it's fairly inexpensive. I think under a hundred dollars, which you can't get your hands on a bias ply tire. You know, you look on Coker tires, they really don't make a lot of them. You can spend over $250 for a bias ply. So if you're looking for some bias plies, I don't really know how they drive yet. I think they've, they've got pretty good reviews, but um, for a vin that vintage look, spare tire, I think it's gonna be, uh, be pretty nice. And this side of the tire has like kind of a more modern look. But let me flip this tire around and I'll show you what the other side looks like. And on the other side of the tire, they have more of a, a kind of a vintage look. So you got the modern look, you got the vintage look, so you can flip it um, either way. All right, well, thanks for coming back to CM's Garage for another video on the 1968 Beetle. I finally got around to uh, starting the wheel repaint project here. I've just got the one done. But now I need to go ahead and uh, paint the other three. I've got to get the spare tire rim mounted and get and to get that in there. But for now, for this video, I'll just go ahead and call it a wrap. We've got the one wheel done so you can see how that looks. All right, well, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate you guys coming back to the channel. We'll see you in the next video. For the next one on this, I'll have all four wheels painted and I'll, I'll show you that. I don't know what the next project will be, but I'm sure something will come up. Thanks again. See you in the next one. Thank you.